everybody it's me Tegan it's been months they just got another go indie now package I feel really terribly that I didn't do an unboxing for the last box um, I just I couldn't find my camera so I will put pictures up right now <music> This is for, for October. It came in this beautiful green bubble wrap. And green is the Go Indie Now color. And I love it because it's beautiful. Let's see. Is there things in here? I don't know what to pick out first. Yeah. Okay, so this is not November. This is Don't Miss the Theme of our gritty November box, Survival of Bibliotherapy. A bibliotherapy session to help bring out your survival instincts featuring soap from milk and jelly on sale now so that's the next box gosh that's so cute October is my favorite month dear Tegan I hope this box transports you to Halloween as a child love Ashley that's sweet and that is such a beautiful little card I love it so, this is Happy October Bibliophile. October happens to be my favorite month of all time. Mine too. And I'm so excited to share with you this month's box. The theme is Shadows Linger, and it is a bibliotherapy session for adults who wish they could still trick or treat. The novels aren't too scary, but they will give you a sense of Halloween and the beautiful changing seasons that we are now experiencing. And then it goes on to talk about the items in the box, but I'm not going to look at those quite yet because I don't want to ruin the surprise can't get it out of the packaging so our first book is the making of gabriel davenport it says one night one secret and it's by beverly lee i've heard of this book and i've wanted to check it out um i thought it sounded familiar so it says one night one secret in a house built on truth something lays hidden beth and Stu davenport moved to meadowford bridge to give their young son gabriel an idyllic childhood but one night, their dream is shattered by ancient hidden dark. <laughs> Sorry, wow. But one night, their dream is shattered by hidden ancient darkness, and their lives are changed forever. Years later, Gabriel goes looking for answers about his mysterious past. Soon, his life begins to unravel as he discovers that the people he loved and loves and trusts most are harboring sinister secrets of their own. As the line blurs between darkness and light, Gabriel must confront the terrible events that destroyed his family all those years ago. His choice, continue living in a lie, living a lie in blissful obliv oblivion, or give himself over to terrifying new reality. The darkness awaits. And I don't know if I've shown this before, but all of the Go Indie Now books now have these little library cards in them, and they're really cute. I'm really excited to read this because I've heard really good things on Instagram about it. This little sign here looks like it is to here and it's a gothic playlist it says it was curated by ashley the owner to go along with the making of gabriel davenport so you follow their playlist on youtube and then you can listen to the songs which is super cool you have to visit their facebook page in order to access the playlist but then you can listen to it while you read which is such a cool idea i love it i love it i love it And then this, these lips, mean to taste. And it says it's a cemetery punch recipe from HGTV. Cemetery punch. Ooh, it sounds good. It's got root beer, gummy worms, vanilla frozen yogurt, and chocolate frozen yogurt. That sounds pretty bomb. So I'm gonna have to give that a go to smell. And I can smell this from the moment I opened this. This is our scent pack. So it says this is a haunted chamber scent pack by Adventure Sense, which I think the majority of our scents have been through Adventure Sense, and they're awesome, and I love them. And I've gone online and looked through them. I live right next to a train too. I'm so sorry. It says this wonderful scent pack will fill your nose with a hint of mystery and the supernatural. Remember to use your scent pack holder to keep the scent near you. It smells really good. It kind of smells like October. We've got little handprints 
for to touch. They look kind of creepy, like fitting in with the theme there. So, open it up. All right. So I'm assuming, so it's a wing arm cuff or bookmark by Crocheted Candy. So I'm fairly certain that Ashley's the one who does the Crocheted Candy. I love these wings. I think they are awesome. This is so cute. I love it, but I have like a strange obsession with angels. So you can use it as a bookmark or you could use it as an armband wristlet whatever it's super super cute and it's got I don't know if you can see but it's got sparkles all about the sparkle super cute to see the little eye we've got a Gabriel art print according to the sheet more cute Halloween packaging oh nice this must be Gabriel, and it's a really nice print. It looks really good, and it gives us an insight into what the character looks like before I've even opened the book, so that's pretty cool. So we've been through to touch, to smell, to hear, to taste, to see, and then the featured book, and then we've got a bonus novel, which is The Dead Burner by E.M. Markov. Oh, I opened saying that right and it looks super creepy it says in the aftermath of the purging the deathbringers are no more the ascendancy has positioned itself as the land's dominant power by exploiting the people's fear of the deathbringers innate abilities to summon souls and reanimate the dead <laughs> yet its hold is not complete for in the north the bastion stands in the way of the ascendancy and its iron willed elite soldiers the sanctifiers but somehow a single deadbringer has managed to survive Kira Vidal, a boy of 15, has remained hidden, living peacefully with his uncle in the northern city of Apulense, maybe? Under the Bastion's protection, but it seems their luck is at an end when rumors begin to spread and a strange man shows up at their door, seeking the forbidden services of the Deadbringer. Aware of the dangers should word of his nature reach the Ascendancy, Kira makes a promise to himself to protect his beloved uncle at all costs, even if it means pursuing the limits of his powers and learning painful truths. Cool. It sounds pretty badass. It's long. At least it, it seems long and it seems like the, the words are quite small too. So it's, I mean, it's a decent sized. That sounds pretty cool. I'm pretty much up for anything that's creepy or spooky in any way at all. So I'm very excited for these two books. I'm especially excited about this one just because I've heard, I've heard really good things about it and it was on my TBR list anyway, so I'm really thrilled that I have it in my hands right now. And then we also got a little bonus treat snack with this month's box. So there's a little shot glass that says pick your poison and it's got... A little candy in it and some tiny tiny little erasers that are just super super cute this is my favorite one so as always I will have the information linked below for go indie now so if you would like to subscribe to their box I can tell you that I've been receiving it I think for like five or six months now and I absolutely have adored every single book that I've gotten um, and it's just been a great addition to my life and the bibliotherapy session has just been great it's nice to have that escape especially when life is crazy so I would definitely encourage you to check it out they have a basic box and then they have an extended box I don't think that's the right term for it but that's what it is it's just like there's more definitely check it out it's a cool way to get your hands on some indie books that you never would have maybe heard of before so it's super rad and just just check it out um their information will be down below and i will hopefully be back to give another review someday <laughs> soon i know it's been so long 
but I've been reading a lot of good books, so I'll probably have to have to do a video or two. Anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon, and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.